the way that we graze these cattle and run these cattle and with the health of the soil and the health of the plants that they're feeding on, they stay healthy. They don't get sick, they don't need to be treated. I used to carry a crossbow, three big bottles of medicine for treating them. And now out of the 850 head here, I've only treated uh, less than 20 this year. This particular farm here is about a thousand acres in size. And in terms of day-to-day -day activity, building paddocks for the week, moving cattle, you're looking at the person that does that on a day-to-day -day basis. I've got more spare time on my hands than I know what to do with. I do a lot of thinking of how to do all these things easier. If I was to start this when I was your age, you know what would have happened? I would have had 15 kids by now because I spent so much time in the house. You know, this is always the best part of my day. I guess one of the reasons I'm content is because you clearly see they're content. You know, they're happy. We're still here after 10 or 15 years, and uh, we wouldn't have been if, if we had kept doing what we were. I'd have been flipping hamburgers somewhere. It's extremely low stress because we're working with nature instead of against her. My mother didn't think much of it when I first started it. She was pretty upset seeing all the weeds. Now she's bra bragging to her friends about what I'm doing.